on Thursday, another day at the nurseries. Uh, so we've had one uh, caravan off on the dot of nine o'clock and another couple due to go off. So it's going to quickly open up the shed. Um, once the next caravan's gone off, because it's bin day today, uh, I need to get my blue bin. And you can guess what he's emptying today. Yes, it's dog bin emptying day. Um, so I'm going to go and grab that. So it's warmer this morning than it has been the last few mornings. But the quick look at the site and uh, as we've been ready, I'm going to grab a bin bag and get my gloves and. Um, once this caravan's off, because that's going to go in the next few minutes, I'm going to run, do the bins, and then um, I've got a motorhome that needs to go off, but their awning's still up, so um, that's going to be a while yet before they depart. And then once I've emptied the bins, I'm just going to need to move the biffer bins out here. I always, always like to help the bin man. Never take, never take bin men for granted. They always do a, they do a hard job. And then I've got here with me this morning, look at this here. Um, a big long tape measure so I think I mentioned about a fifth wheel on my last video so I've got a possibility of a fifth wheel coming on to one of our seasonal pitches but I've got to make sure it'll fit on because it is a beast it's a big it's a big one madam it's a big one so let me put that on my desk and just do that uh, did have the trail cam out last night and all it caught was rabbits so I'm not going to put anything um, not going to put anything on the rabbits, on the rabbits, on this bit, on the video. I think we've all seen enough rabbits, unless I get an exceedingly cute one. Um, so yeah, just wait for this uh, next caravan to go, and then down to the uh, dog walk and empty the bin. Right, so bin in hand, empty the dog bin. You can measure these units up, and then I'm going to get try and get this um, chip bark down today if it's. Uh, if I don't get distracted in any way. Yeah, another bag of dog poo. Mmm, nom nom. Alright, that's the uh, bins ready. The normally comes around 11 o'clock. Um, this is normally when I'm doing the facility cleaning. <clears throat> but now we're going sort of um, quite quiet back in there. I can do things like the facilities uh, a, a lot more flexible basically I'm not rigidly going until 11 o'clock now uh, right let's go and see whether this no nope. so I've got one more unit to go off this morning and they've still got the awning up so they're going to be quite a while and the two that I've just said goodbye to um, bye bye I know you watch this um, this channel and everything sorry I've got hair on my lens um, been great to have you here for the last is it four days? And uh, I know that they're avidly following the travel trolls. What's the word? <laughs> Those that follow the travel trolls in this one, they're antics. What could possibly go wrong, hey? All right, let's go and get me tape measure and go measure these pitches. All right, so we're sorting out that pitch for that fifth wheel. We've definitely got a, a space big enough for them. Um, if anything's gonna come off that, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, nightmare with a brother printer scanner all in one flipping machine. I uh, lost an hour of my life today trying to get that reconfigured and uninstalled and reinstalled. And we just said goodbye to somebody that's been with us for over three months. Um, they've been having a house build. Um, so they've been sort of fixture and fittings for a, for a long time. I've really got to know them really, really well. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. H, I'll call them. So if you catch this and you may do um wishing you well in your new property and new adventures ahead uh so i've just done the facilities so i just got to, um some, some bags to put into the rubbish bins the bin man's due uh around this sort of time so let's just put that into into here and i've had a little bit of light on the rocks so, I'm doing the facilities, and I don't know whether you know what to do with these, but look. <laughs> There's another one. Love on the Rocks Facebook. Keep or hide post pics if possible. So the idea of these 
is you take a picture, log onto Facebook, do a search for Love on the Rocks. Here we go. And share the stone so you can keep, or you can take this stone now in your pocket and take it elsewhere on your travels and let somebody else see if they can find it. So I spotted that one. And then, not that I hand, hang, it possibly looks a bit weird, this as if I hang around in ladies' toilets all the time, but obviously we have to check them and make sure that they're clean. Um, and into here. Oh, hang on a minute. There we are. Is that, is that picking that one up okay? Um, so again, another love on the rocks. So uh, yeah, isn't that, that isn't that one sweet? That's definitely um, sweet. I'm very gifted being able to do little drawings like that as well. In fact, it's got a blue blue line on it. It's a bit like my my uh, my Adria. Here's another one. Look here. Look what I found. Can you see that one? And again. So. Will they stay or will they go? Obviously, we're very, very quiet at the minute. If um, if I was going off site, I would um, be off on my way. We've got um, some progress. He's going to be quickly making um, on the cottage shortly. Um, we're furnishing that and other bits and bobs, uh, which I'll give you an update. Uh, and I'm, in fact, I'm just going to go and run in now. I just need to have a quick look at something. And then next up. I'm going to get this bark down. I've got to get this bark down. This has been winding me up there. How long has this been going on? Days. Well, these pitch dividers, these beds, these have been tor they've tormented me since I got here to try to find a way to um, deal with it. And I need some, um, now I've got my laminator. I need to print out some new little signs that need laminating. Uh, so let me just get the keys and nip into the cottage. Right, Mumby's by my side. Oh, hello. <laughs> right, tape measure, Stanley knife, let's go and uh, let's go and get this chip bark done. Uh, Charlie, it's... You start doing one thing and then you get sidetracked and another thing comes on. Right, let's go. So what I did yesterday, if you remember, was I'd managed to get to the garden centre. Oops, if I don't drop my tape measure. And um, I've put the bark down by the um, the beds, the separators, whatever you like to call them. Um, so that's a roll of weed stuff. Saves me carrying. Right, let's have a let's have a quick look at what's what. So I'm now waiting for this afternoon's arrivals. So I've got everybody off site. Oh, it's really quiet. Um, as so I showed you these tent pitches, these left on. Saturday, they've been here for a week, so I'll keep an eye on that, whether that needs seeding. Still waiting for the lawnmower. Uh, that's the one with the bark. Yeah, I've actually turf on that one, but did start down there. And then I've got... That one I'm going to do today, and this one. So I have strimmed the grass right down as, as far as I can, but these are just an absolute nightmare with the strimmer, with the uh, chicken wire catching the um, strimming wire, whatever you call it. All right, which side should I start? I think I'm going to start on this side first, and then. Uh, We'll see how we get along. Right, let's get the uh, let's get the matting down first. Right, so I've got the weed matting down. So that's uh, that's down to there, and I decided with the first bag. Uh, so that's sort of work in progress, and I've actually now taken my sweatshirt off. I'm actually going to take my shirt off because it is really warm uh, and sun beating down. Uh, beautiful day. All right, so there's that one sort of done. Um, I've got a bag of chip bark left over, but I have got um, another one over there and another one over there to do at some stage. 
um, which I'm not going to do until I know I can get more chip bark because the plant centre where I got this stuff from it was down to one bag yesterday so fingers crossed not so much for now for the remainder of this year but going into next year that should make things somewhat easier um, I'll give you a now, now we're quite at, I don't even know what time it is. Um, give you a quick swing around and you can see the site, what it's like when it's quiet. So it's, I'm forever looking at the gate to see if the, uh, this afternoon's arrivals are here yet. Okay, progress, definitely progress. I'm just gonna put my shirt and sweatshirt in. It's a beautiful day. No sign of Russia. Is she inside? Doors open and everything, or it was open when I left. There we are. Yeah, we are all open. What are we do, doing inside, Russia. Hello. Hi. 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 <laughs> it's very warm. You're not going outside today. Sit in the garden. There you go. There you go. All right, Mr. Dan. 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 From the Travel Trolls. Your light is one of these. Well, it's not exactly the same as that, but this has got a swan neck, a bendable neck on it. Can you see it? So basically, it's just two wires that need connecting. So the bottom plate comes off, screws on. So the problem with these is that they are what you call sort of solid state. So when the LEDs or circuitry goes on them, you can't change the bulbs. You have to replace the whole unit. So I'm just suspicious that that's what the problem is. But uh, yeah, when you get here on whenever it is you get back, we can have a look at that for you. So um, yeah, very lucky. Hello, oh, you yeah, have come outside. So lucky, I have this. I've got a spare one of them. They're about uh, 25 quid. So I have got a video um, on my own personal channel. Those that have not seen it, where I replaced um, all of these spotlights. So I started off by putting LED bulbs in. And then I slowly gone around the caravan and uh, changed them. So, and these are like above uh, above the bed. Um, so these are the ones we've got here, which are all uh, doable. And then these are they've got dimmer switches on and USB here, and there's a USB on the back as well. Um, so that's fitted. And that's fitted. Rasha, what on earth are you doing? You're just being, you're just being weird. I'm not, it's not dinner time yet. I'm still 10 minutes early. So, yeah, we can have a look at that, Dan, when, uh, when you're in. Right, I need to go back to the, uh, back to my office before I get some dinner. And I'm going to have a, I'm going to have another one of them pasties for me dinner. Uh, as I've got, somebody, somebody's done something a little bit naughty. I'm not going to go into details. Somebody has done something that I'm not happy with. Yeah, don't mess with me. That's all I'm going to say. Now we're going to um, batten down the hatches, as they say. So apparently this hurricane in America has been all on the news. We're going to get the tail end of it here due on tomorrow. So I've just had... Um, Somebody from the, one of the seasonal pitches has just come down, taking his awning down, because apparently it could get stormy tomorrow. Uh, fortunately, my awning is only quite small porch awning, um, and I have got storm straps on it, and it's uh, pretty well secured down. But I will, I will go and check everything. But oh, the dog, the dog keeps coming in and out. I don't know what's up with the dog. Right, we're gonna have a pasty. Where, where are you, Daft Dog? Right, what are you doing in here? Why do you sit in the garden? Hmm? Oh. 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 Right, just before I forget, let's quick go over everything's. So these, um, if you're not into caravanning or whatever, so these are um, heavy duty storm straps um, on here. And here, you see everything is all pegged down there. And let's 
and then the main thing is in here also i'm just going to check in all the tensions on all the posts that are all done russia everything is tight uh all the fly paper i need this i think this fly paper can possibly come look at all these flies that we got after this farmer had done his business on the fields look at this uh yeah okay right i will check the weather forecast and see whether this person's right or not but we could be having a storm hello rashton ash what are you doing right let's get past the out and warm it up what do you say all right had some dinner had me pasty um all the washing out the washing machine etc from yesterday that's all done and another thing i've got to start thinking about as well is when i get home in november so obviously having a definitely a couple of weeks downtime so i've not had any break break breaker or anything for uh, such a long time um but then i've got to find some work um in december january uh for two and a half months two months two and a half months so um not really too sure what i'm gonna do yet uh when i get back uh so keep some options open right i've got some uh, to, um i've got this laminator uh been delivered i need to get onto the computer and create a couple of signs that need laminating and uh i'm having a quick look down where i put the trail cam last night it says lots of rabbits but that was about it so i might tonight put it somewhere completely different again and see how we go on with things uh, it's a beautiful day absolutely beautiful day end of september back down to a t-shirt look at that how good is that and look at what touring pitch number one um i need to try and catch this person before they go and see if um they'll say hello on camera i've got not one oh, but two bird boxes you see those so these have been gifted to me. So not one, but I've got two of them. That's, uh, there they are. Now then, what am I going to do with them? And what was the proposal when they've been handed over? More of this to come. Right, so cute little laminator. Nice and simple. That's, um, that's all done. So that's gone on notice board outside, laminated. And another one for our notice board. So if you did want to come and stay with us, you can book at webholidayparks.co.uk. Um, and I've got a couple of little spare ones and I've just done some for a post box and blah, 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 blah. And that's all, um, all nicely in hand right i've just had somebody who's was asked to move pitch and for some reason Gemma park our computer system wouldn't let me do it but thank you jackie at the office she's managed to move the pitch i don't i don't know why they didn't let me do it uh oh golly golly golly, golly. okay what's that oh look at that by me charlie soon where's today gone no idea um, right, I've now actually got everybody in, so um, so I'm not hanging about um, looking at the gate anymore. That's uh, always nice when uh, when we get to this stage of the day. Right, I'm going to delve into my freezer. It's a bit. It's um, delve into my freezer. Get my words out right and um, have a think about what I'm going to have for my tea tonight. As I say, I need to wind down the content of this freezer, and I'm going to have enough food and bits probably until Saturday. So all being well, Saturday or Sunday, if I can get my check-ins all done early, I'll go and do a, a, a weekly shop. Right, I'm going to cut this one here. As ever, if you're new here and you just found the channel, thank you for joining me. Um, giving the video a thumbs up always helps. So one of them. And if you're not yet done so, you can subscribe down there below and you can hit the um, notification bell. Um, yeah, you with the red glass. What? Where did you get them red glasses from? I'm not seeing red glasses. They're those glasses you've got on there, them with the red frames, they're very, very nice, them. Right, I've got to go. Look after yourselves, and I'll see you 
on the next one.